So we, uh, we made an assessment on the situation and we don't have quite enough wedge to get this tree over the way it sits right now. With, with how these branches are up top here and everything leaning back, I mean the tree's leaning the way to fall but with the counterweight of all the branches, all the snow, it's just not going to go with just that wedge. So what we're going to do is, we're going to do another cut and uh, another notch, we're going to do another uh, plunge cut in there and we're going to do the same thing we did down there up a little higher and see if we can get enough wedge out of these. And then when we're done, we can just zip the lower half right off. When you're done, the lower half will come right off with it. So. Okay. All right, well, Nate's gonna fire up the saw again. He's gonna put another another hinge in, another plunge cut. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take this tree over. Yeah, we like doing things the hard way yeah. here, don't we? Well, what, you, what we're trying to demonstrate to you guys is that you might only be able to fall this tree this way. What if your house was directly on the other side of you? If you were in a residential lot, this is what you'd be doing. You know, uh, more likely than not, if you had an arborist come out, he'd either A, scale the tree, take off the branches and do it like that, or B, he'd have a bucket truck and do it like this. But, you know, if it's just you and just some saws, you know, basically all you got are wedges and that's all you can get to do is get her done. And sometimes the only direction you can put a tree, even out in the woods, is where there's not other trees. So sometimes you've got to work hard to get a tree where you want it. So Nate's going to start working hard again. And I think we're going to have to find a few more wedges. <laughs> so hold tight. We'll be right back with some more wedges. Um, and we will continue. You know, times are going rough when you're getting down to the little, little wedges. Uh, <laughs> 
this, this tree's got a heck of a lean. Uh, it should be coming down, but obviously it's not. Um, so we're going to sink a double wedge into here, hopefully loosening up our, our single wedges. Uh, you know, these wedges are pretty much good for, you know, really kind of small stuff, you know. Uh, it's, it's a ramp, you know, incline plane. Learned this in science class, you know. Using those longer wedges so it doesn't have to go up the ramp so hard, you know, normally works a lot easier. But uh, because Brian said we had to show you guys how to do this, uh, I get to look like a fool on uh, YouTube. I don't think you look like a fool. Yeah, I think we're doing something that's very difficult to do. Difficult to do. So, so how about we knock them wedges in and take this tree over? We'll see if we can get her done. Okay. Yes, I believe we're right there on the edge. There it goes. So, what did we learn there, Nate? What did we learn? With enough wedge, you can take just about anything over in any direction. With enough wedge, you can move anything. Uh, you can see all the different wedges we had here. Why don't you come over here and take a look at this hinge. You can see we had a pretty thin hinge on there already. He even ripped a little chunk out here. I think without that weight on here, I could probably just reach up in here and, well, of course not. Oh. Uh, we may have uh, got the hinge a little thick there on the back, on the bottom, so it wouldn't have gone so hard. But uh, I think all in all, everything went pretty good for what it was. Yeah, this is a very, I picked a very difficult tree to take in a very difficult direction. Yeah. Specifically for this video. Uh, so basically what we're going to do now is we're going to, we're going to clean this mess up. We're going to do another video installation on bucking and cutting stuff up later. So, but we got a bunch of work to get done now. 